Uh, this is Lindsey Miller with your news headlines from Monday, December 28th. After unseasonably warm weather uh, hit the state for, throughout the Christmas holiday, uh, much of the state, as, as much as three quarters of the state, is flooded or faces flood warnings. Um, the Buffalo River was closed today due to extreme flooding. Parts of 67 167. Uh, were covered with water and traffic was, was slowed to a crawl earlier today um, and uh, a number of rivers and creeks are expected to, uh, to rise in, in the coming days uh, with flooding expected in Dardanelle, Palm Bluff, Toad Suck and elsewhere. Uh, Hope officials suspect arson in a fire that broke out in the wee hours of Christmas Day um, at the childhood home of Bill Clinton, where he spent the first four years of his life. It's now a historic site maintained by the National Park Service. Uh, some big national news today, Timothy Lohman, the Cleveland police officer who fatally shot 12-year-old Tamir Rice, will not be charged with, with stake, with, uh, will not be charged with a crime, the state prosecutor said today. Uh, the surveillance video uh, of the incident showed police pulling up to Rice and almost immediately shooting. Um, he, Tamir Rice was uh, carrying a toy gun and playing in a park at the time. Data released last week from the National Center for Health Statistics shows that, uh, that, uh, that in the country, teenage birth rates uh, from women 15 to 19 declined 9% between 2013 and 2014. That's a continuation of a long trend. Uh, birth rates have dropped by more than 60% uh, since 91. Arkansas has made significant strides in, that in, in recent years since 2007. Uh, it's declined by more than 30%, but it still has the unwelcome distinction of having the highest teenage birth rate in the country at 39.5 for every 1,000 uh, women in ages 15 to 19. Interestingly, it, it also has the highest birth rate among women uh, 20 to 24 at 115. The national rate is 79 per 1,000. And one of the lowest among 30 to 34 year olds and 32 and 35 uh, to 40 year olds. Uh, those rates in Arkansas are 81.8 versus 100 and 32.6 versus 51. Finally, not so surprisingly, the website Jezebel has named uh, Justin Harris as number one in its roundup of the worst local politicians in the country. Thanks. Read the Arkansas blog, and we'll be back with you tomorrow. You feel it in your heart. The spirit of Little Rock. We've had that spirit since 1927. Helping build our city by producing decades of leaders in the heart of our state. We are the heart of business and innovation. The heart of politics and government. The heart of arts and culture. And in our city, beats the heart of a Trojan. UALR. We are Little Rock's team and Little Rocks University.